Hey guys, I'm Brittany May. We're here with Chomp Chomp Attack. Can you introduce yourself? Give us your role in the band. My name is Jamin. I'm like silence to do vocals. Alright, let's go to questions. If you could be in a horror film of your choice, what and who would it be? I'd say Sweeney Todd if you don't do horror. And I'd be Sweeney Todd. A horror film of my choice. Damn. Um, make it good, Mikey. Make, make it good. Make it good. Let's do a horror film. Horror film. Um, that's so crazy. There's so many horror films. Um, I think it would be pretty cool to be in the detective of Sleepy Hollow. Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp's awesome. That would be really cool. Here's a really funny one. If you could be any animal, what would it be? Tiger, if it's sexy. Um, I'd always want to be like kitten. Um, not one that gets picked up by everyone. I just want to be a kitten, more like a mouse, so I can go into like, all those little places that I can't go into. Like, you know? Like, you always wonder, like, dude, what's under that? You, what, you know, you can actually go under as a mouse and be all like, dude, what up? Like, here's a fucking... There's a cheetah. Hey. Okay. If you weren't in a band, what would you be doing at this point in your life? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. If I wasn't in a band, what would I be doing at this point in my life? Um... Guys, the only reason I wouldn't be in a band is if, like, I wasn't in a band for, like, that specific time. Like, I've been in a lot of bands, I guess, like, <laughs> and, um, like, there's been points I haven't been in a band for certain points of this time. Trying to get into another band or creating my own other band and stuff, so. I mean, if I wasn't in a band, I wouldn't be pursuing anything else. I'd still be pursuing music, just looking for something. Alright. How did your parents react when you told them you wanted to be a musician? They pushed me to do it. They were super supporting to it. They actually, they, they are the reason why I'm here right now. They really supported me a lot. Um, mine have known for a long time that I wanted to do music. Uh, they never supported it though, like, I don't know, they just, they're not into it. They wanted a realistic career choice. Yes, they still do. And they're not gonna get it, so. Well, I mean, 33,000 fans, you gotta be doing something, right? Alright, what job did you have before the band? I work at the gas station, and I'm probably gonna work in the gas station when I come back. Um, for the band, I work as a dishwasher. I wash dishes for a living. Words of Roddy Radke. Washing dishes for a living. I do that. I also get to do this. I won't be doing that forever. Okay, craziest band experience. I signed a butt cheek. That was awesome, actually. Epic Bell. Epic Bell. Epic Bell. I mean, he's not crazy. But it was really cool. I mean, like yesterday, we. No, two days ago, we signed a bunch of people. In the middle of a parking lot, pulled down the trail. Bunch of you out. Signed that. I don't have money for merch, so just sign my ass. <laughs> Works? Alright, what inspires you guys to write music? Like? My life, my fans, uh, my dreams, and just any, you know, anything around me. Um, mostly like my dreams and um, the people. Pretty much the same. Alright, what makes you guys different from all the other bands out there? We're sending Satanists. Yeah, man. What makes CCA different than the other bands? Um, I'm not going to say that not all the other bands do this, but I mean, a lot of bands don't, don't give the fans the whole fan experience, you know? And like, I think it's important to meet everybody and thank them for coming out and give them, give back to them as much as you can. I think a lot of bands forget that that's probably the most important part about going on tour. Um, 
But like, that doesn't make a difference in every match. But I definitely think that's one of the things where it's all just gonna see the game. That makes us all change this one. Uh, what kind of music do you listen to when you're on the road? A lot of acoustic music. I listen to like Singing and Serenade, Making April, Never Shot Never. That or I listen to Rap Mention, Morgan and the White, and Sky. Mostly acoustic. Yeah, to be honest, on the road I listen to like. Oh, yeah. I'm sleep last night. Um, on the road I listen to like a lot of. Uh, a lot of calm music actually. I, I guess at night when we play the shows, there's always so many heavy bands and stuff that when I'm on the road, it's my time to like just relax. But I'm just gonna skip some music. At some point, I think you'd be sick of hearing, you know, music that's a lot similar to yours. Um, not that I can sit here, but it's just that, you know, it's relaxing. Pretty nice. Playing the show and meeting the fans. It's awesome. You realize that they're, realize that they're here for you, and some people, like, you guys drove like five hours. Some people, like, are just crazy. They drive so much just to see us. Yeah. It makes me feel really special. That's me too. It's the fans. It's just my favorite part of tour. It's just meeting all the people that come out to see you. And just being, like, completely overwhelmed by, like, you know, um, realizing how much people care about you and your music. Alright, least favorite part of tour? The heat and driving. Alright, how do you guys respond to heat? Um, they, they can think whatever they want. I mean, <laughs> there's two different levels of hate. You know, if somebody comes up to us and says that they don't like their music, you know what, fine, they don't like their music. I mean, everyone has their own opinion. Thanks for listening to it. Um, but when it comes to actually like judging us for a look and stuff like that, I mean, that's their own thing. I mean, we don't, we just don't respond to it. For me, it's really simple. I say fuck you and thank you. There gotta be haters. It just makes me feel like I, I, I succeed. I mean, I just don't respond to it. You know, if they're gonna. If they're gonna do that with the time that they have to give me, then I don't have any time to give them in return. Alright, last question. Favorite gift you've ever received? Oh my god. Wow. Um, that is such a hard question. I'd say it's the zero stuff anymore I got. I love it. I almost forgot it yesterday. I was so pissed. Then I got it. Oh my goodness. It was awesome. I'll never forget the first gift I received, it was two and a half years ago. It was a pair of skeleton gloves from somebody that, that saw us at our first show and still to this day comes to every show and supports us. That's in our hometown. Um, I'll never forget that gift. I mean, it's always been close to my heart. And, um, I mean, there's, there's just too many. I can't pick one. You know, I can't choose one on this tour that's been given to me that means the most. I mean, it's just, the fact that somebody's willing to go out of their way and give me like a picture is just, I mean, that's crazy. It's, it's amazing. Alright, well, thank you guys for taking the time to do this with me. Thanks to you. Thank you so much.